technique, starting from that half guard position. So my thing before was this. <clears throat> I don't punch a person from chest to chest, only a couple of times, only to get them to move the way I want them to. But the main thing that I need to do, my priority, if I'm not finishing him, is doing damage, hurting him. Because if you hurt a guy, he's gonna want you to finish him. So I need to hurt him. And you can't hurt nobody from chest to chest, really. Maybe with some elbows, but you can't really hurt him, really, like you can with space. That's the problem with passing guard. Not only does it take too long, it's gonna take me 10 minutes to pass this guard, but then by the time I get there, what am I gonna do? I gotta stay like this to him before I can do anything. So I can get to half guard in 30 seconds. I can get here in 30 seconds. And now I can create space, why? Because I have control of his legs still. But I pass the guard, I have no control of his legs, and if I give him space, he gets out. But with control of his leg, he won't get out. All right, so we go here. I'm in this position. Remember, this stays here. Resist the urge to do this. Because again, as soon as I come up, the boom, this comes in. I can't have that happen, all right? I gotta stay down. I gotta keep control of this. So, and I gotta keep him down. So while I'm here like this, remember I said I gotta keep his shoulders on the floor. How do I do that? Controlling his head. Right now my shoulders control his head. So I need to get space before I come up. And go here. And now he's not getting that shoulder off the floor. Now I can bring the knee in. And now I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna frame here, hold this leg open, and go here. And now I can punch and do damage. I don't wanna punch with this hand first because if you release his hand, this leg's automatically gonna come in. So you gotta develop striking power in this hand. Hammer fist, anybody can do that. So you can just bang, bang, all right? And then he's gonna move a little, then I go back. He moves a little, I go back. And I come up again. From here. This arm gets a little bored. Just put my knee here. Get a shot off. And then the same thing applies here. I don't want to just keep punching him like this. I gotta move his hands. Good punch. Back. Biggest, biggest thing that I see people do with not doing is controlling hands to get punches off. Everybody, look, watch any fight at any level. Unless he's already hurt, you, he's not, you're not going to finish him. But if he's hurt, but if he's not hurt, I can still finish him just by going, there's a shot. Bat. 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 Just by holding his hands. All right? But don't punch with, with your right hand until you get this knee here. Remember, as soon as this happens, you lost it. You lost it. This is why this is where the jujitsu sensitivity comes in. Being able to feel this happen. You gotta block this. We prevent this from happening. Because once this happens, now we're you're in a jujitsu battle. We don't want that. We're gonna keep it here. Don't let them up. Don't let him up. Boom. Boom. I don't have to try to pass. I just keep this here on his leg so he can't bring that knee in. All right, questions? One, two, three.